हेलो गाइस सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द फिनिश इंटरव्यू सीरीज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ फ्यू ऑफ द मोर यू नो क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर मोस्टली आस्क्ड इन फिनिश इंटरव्यूज वेदर इट इज अ इनिशियल इंटरव्यूज और वेदर इट्स ऑन्स और एक्सपीरियंस्ड पीपल आल्सो कैन बी आस्क्ड दिस क्वेश्चन ओके Well, uh, what we are going to cover in this uh, this session is uh, how different, uh, differently, you know, the component behaves whenever we are, you know, key-based components. Whenever we supply uh, null key, you know, so this is a so to answer these questions, we need to know. I mean, the runtime behavior of these components basically. So we are going to see why uh, certain components behave differently whenever we supply the null key or a blank key. So how we specify null key is like a, you know, this middle bracket, and within that there won't be anything. Okay, so let's say uh, let's see um, how the sort behaves uh, with respect to a null key. So let's say we have input data. Uh, so we have input data like employee name, department, and uh, some other number. Okay. So there are two records of employee one. There are one record zero, and they are you know listed in the input. Uh, I, like that so we are going to take this uh, data set as an example to to see how you know null key behaves so if we supply null key in the sort what what sort does is it sorts according to the key so the algorithm runs and uh, depending upon the uh, alpha numeric uh, you know sequence it is trying to uh, uh, display the output record so if we supply employee id let's say this even the first field is an employee second is department and third is salary let's say so if we supply em you know let's say dml is like uh, if we want to define the dm simple dm string p Okay. Is going to be yours. So this is my DML at least. So let's say employee is the key. So if you do this, if you supply the null key, then uh, sort is not going to do anything. So what is the output? The same. The what is the input? The same output can be seen. Okay. This is the behavior of sort because sort. You don't have key, so it doesn't know, you know what to do with the records, right? So whatever it's coming into the input board is going to be uh, go to the output board. So sort doesn't do anything in that, so it doesn't apply its functionality. Okay. So sort was the first, and then we are we are look at the data sort. Okay. So there are things in the data sort. So we will. So why we use data sort is we if we you know deduplicate the data if we have a multiple uh, record or a certain key and we want to uh, omit uh, you know all those records and we want the unique records into the output then we try to use it so let's say in the, whenever we let's say this is the record after sorting e1 would be e1 d1 40 will come and then second record after sorting would be e1 d2 and 43 so like what we will sort the first and then we supply the Sorted data to the dedupe sorted, right? So this is this is what we do so that dedupe, you know, uh, try to deduplicate the data. So in dedupe, if we supply, so there are within dedupe we have you know key parameter. So what key parameter are these? It signifies that which which record is we need you know, to keep first, last, or unique. So these are three things, okay? So if I do first, okay. And I supply the sorted input. 
okay so the first first record is going to be come second and other record are not going to come for a particular case okay if we supply uh, in, let's say employee is the key okay and uh, i supply first then the this record is going to be in the output okay if i supply in the last then even d2 43 is going to come only okay but if i supply what is going to happen so in the, this case dw doesn't know i mean uh, you know if you give the sorted data so if uh, the d2 do not know uh, right so which which record is you know, need to be kept in that sense so what is going to happen is it is going to keep the first only record so it is going to uh, see this uh, you know whole as a one group you know let's say i'll sequence it up the sorting okay? so the input of the data would be after the sorting of the data okay? this what is going to the input for the to is like this is going to record and e0 is going to the last after sorting no, it's not why i'm sorting is because i need to give the Sorted input to the D2, right? That's when we, that's what we do, right? So this is my input to the D2. When we supply null key, then D2 doesn't know I mean, which key is going to be so whether it's employee or a department or a salary, right? So it doesn't know it. What it does is it behaves. It behaves this entire you know number of record as a one one group. Okay, and whenever we supply first, then only this record is going to be printed out. Okay, if I supply last, then this record is going to be printed out or given to the output. If I supply unique, no record is going to be because it doesn't know which is unique or what, right? right so this is going to be the behavior now if in within the unit if there is a one record only let's say in the input only this record is there so then this record if one record only one record is there in the input then output would be that record okay Because because the uh, data knows that unique is because we have only one record, it, it will see it as a unique record, right? Because there is only one record, so it's a unique record. Now, if if there are multiple record of same same multiple record, then only yeah. That that you can try. If if we have two records having exact same two records with same two exact same records then you can see try and see okay that is for you to try so this is we talked about data sorted now let's cover it i was sort of creating another system but let's see how rollup uh, does okay so what rollup does is that it will try to so let's say our definition of rollup is out okay rollup So let's say I'm totaling the salary. Total cell is equal to sum of cell and out cell. And out dot department is equal to end of department. 
how do employee is equal to this is my in uh, simple coding in the simple coding into the rollup so if you do that so there are two scenarios in the rollup the first scenario is scenario number a if it is in memory and it's a sorted data if we supply the sorted data so what is going to happen so if you sort the data and we supply the and then if we supply the null key sorted data with null key means we supply nothing as key then what is going to if it is sorted data so the last record is going to be output this record is going to be come out okay but because you have summed up the cell key so entire cell is going to be summed up 45 40 43 76 and 83 so the this number is going to be you know added as all the cell key added cell key now the second is whenever we do not have the total data in memory sorting case number b in memory with null key then first record is going to be the output what about the salary the added salary and all the records added all so this is the behavior in the case of null key within the rollup. Now the scan, okay. Let's see what scan does. So similarly, we will be you know coding the scan. So in the scan, we know that all the output goes out, right? So, so if we supply this one sort of data, so the every record is going to be in the output in the scan, whatever is the input everything as it is is going to be in the output okay so can if it is a key based or if you are supplying sorted then the output record also will be sorted if there is a in memory then output record also will be you know unsorted whatever we are supplying as an input so this is scan behavior simple scan behavior now, now is the term of join. Join with null key. Join with null key. Null or blank key. So, what is going to happen? So, let's say we have input like this. And we have another input like and we will try to join in the department. Let's say join is the department. If we have join keys department, so D1 is one time or D1 is one time here, so one record is one block. Output in the case of department as a key for D0 only one D0 only one record is going to come. D1 there is one one okay. D2 there is no record for inner join there is no output for D2. D3 there is one and again D2 there is no oh, sorry there is one okay. Hmm. Let's say I have one more record of D2 D1 then there will be Two record of D1 okay. because there is one record and there are two records okay so there will be two of record of D1 if the same is here D1 twice then what is going to happen there will be two plus two four record two into two basically but in case of null key one two three four five six one two three four five six Okay, let's say I'm removing this. So, in case of how many records? Um, six records. 
in the data set one and one two three four five record data set two so five and two six is equal to there will be thirty records in our mean this is going to be having Cartesian okay. this is going to be the behavior of joint component. So we talked about all these five components, how they behave basically in the case of Nalki. Okay. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel and we are going to 